We are still on the series. Do you love yourself? And I want us to understand the purpose of our existence. God created us as channels in his hand. And if we are to be channels in his hand, we must have something to be used by him for others. Because and that is why God blesses us so that we can be channels of blessings for others. Every blessing we have either physical or spiritual they are given to us for us to be channels of blessings for other people and there is no man that doesn't have one thing or the other to give and therefore no one has excuse that I'm not useful in the hand of God you need to discover what God has given you for you to benefit people around you we can give money or material to the needy or poor. It's not only money. We can give any items that may be useful to people around us. So both material and monetary resources in our hand are meant to benefit people around us. We can also share our time with other people. There is nobody on earth that is not having 24 hours at his disposal. You should not use the whole 24 hours for yourself. You can share part of these hours to visit somebody who may be sick in the hospital. You may share part of these hours to even go from home to home to evangelize. You can share part of these hours with somebody who is bereaved to comfort him to stand with him. You can share part of this hour to pray for other people. You can now see that nobody has any excuse not to be useful for other people. When we use our resources, money, material, or time for the benefit of other, we are living a fulfilled life. When a man is not doing any other thing to benefit people around him, is not be fulfilled. You won't be happy. You will be at peace within yourself. Because you are like an like a lake that is not sharing the water 
asked. It's a matter of time. The water in the lake will dry off. And nobody can even drink water in a lake because it will soon have warm. And therefore, if really you want to be fulfilled, whatsoever God has given to you, strive to share with other people. Don't forget that a Christian that is stingy or is not sharing what he has with others is not fruitful. Christian, to je awon ti ko si le pe ohun ti o ni pelu elomiran o je alai leso. It's not bearing fruit at all. O rara. It is your duties for other people around you. Help this, help that, give to this, give to this that make you to be fruitful outwardly. Nigba o je oju se wa ti a ba ran eni lowo ti a fi fun eni such a prayer such a Christian God will not answer his prayer in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13 Proverbs 21 13. Who so stopped his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. And he can tell you that he can tell you that he can tell you that that even if you say you have money and you are not giving out, where you need help, the help of God, in another areas of your life, and you call out to him, he won't hear. But the Christian that is not fruitful risk the chance of being caught away from Christ. As Jesus says in John 15, 2. He says, Every branch in me that bears no fruit, my father cut off. When you are using everything that God has given to you for yourself, personally, you are not fruitful. And if you are not careful, God will fear you from Christ. Don't forget that Christian that doesn't give what he has for the benefit of others is not loving himself. You do not wait until you become a millionaire before you help people. You may have 200 naira and somebody beside you has never eaten and he comes to you. He has never eaten maybe for the past two or three days. You have 200 naira in your pocket. Pick it. Give the person 100 naira. Give me 100 naira for yourself. God may even tell you, give him the whole of Tode Naira. Then obey. You see how God will now supply something more than Tode Naira for you. 
I pray that the spirit of giving, God, we give to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. That is what the Bible says. But man's wisdom will say, it is more blessed to receive that to give. Bible says there are some people that are giving and they are having more. And there are some that are not giving and they are being poor. Bible says there are some people that are giving and they are having more. And there are some that are not giving and they are poor. You will that that the shortest way to receive blessings from God is giving. So I pray again, God will make us to have open hands to people in Jesus' name. We are looking at five benefits of giving to others. Five benefit of giving to others. After you understand this benefit, I believe you may be interested in giving. It is there you love yourself. Five benefit of giving to others. Number one, it opens the door for further blessings. When you give to others, it opens the door for further blessings. Blessing. People say, give an effort lag. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Proverbs 19, He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord. And that which he had given, we he pay him again. And it also no fontalaka. Olu wa ni omwe ati se onre yo san pada fon. That is the word of God. Or Allah no neji. When you give to the poor, nimba to ba fi fontalaka. It's not that person you have given. Ki she ni to fi fon yelo fi fon. But God who created him. To go fi fon Allah no ti oda. And what you are giving to that poor. It's God that will pay you back. He will raise another channel to give to you in multiples of what you have given to the poor. Proverbs 28. Verse 27. Proverbs 28 27. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes to have many a cause. Uh-huh. You can see here now. When somebody is giving to the poor, he will never laugh. But those who close their eyes to the poor, the Bible says they are caused. It's blessed to give that to receive. Luke chapter 6. Verse 38. Luke 6.38. Luke Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. And shake it together. 
are running over. Some men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that he met with her, it shall be measured to you again. That, that is the word of God. When you give, you are giving back. This is the law of sonary what, what you are giving, you are showing. More so, when you give cheerfully. And you give willingly. And you give it secretly. Without blowing your prophet. God that sees you giving to that person in secret will not reward you openly. I pray again that God we help us and empower us to give what we have for the benefit of others in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are giving your The second benefit of giving is that it makes our faith to be a living faith. It makes our faith to be meaningful to God. It makes our faith to be active, not dead. In James chapter 2, verses 40 to 17, James 2 40 to 17. What does it profit, my brethren? Do a man say he had faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked or destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, he give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Yes. Tabi ara binrin kan ba wa ni ihoho ti o si se ile o nje ojo ti enikan ninu yin si wi fun won pe e ma lo le alaafia ki ara yin ki o si ma ba se tutu ki e si yo sugbon e ko fi nkan won ni ti ara nfe fun won ere kili o je be si ni igbagbo bi ko ba ni ise oku na fa 17 even so faith if it had no works is dead be alone it you can see there when your faith is not back up with the act of love it is dead any faith that only think of himself 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 and not others is dead faith your faith is alive when you think of others and how you can help others with what you are. So we need to understand that our faith is not alive when we are not giving. When we are giving to the poor or the needy, more so, the unbelievers, it draws them unto Jesus Christ. We have seen many unbelievers accepting Jesus Christ because somewhere along the line, Christians are giving to them. 
Nitori ni ona kan tabi e keja won Christianity won fi ohun ti won se aligni fun won. When Christianity was brought to Africa, this was the tool that the European people used. Nigba te amo Christianity wa si le eniyan dudu awon nkan te awon to mu Christianity wa yi ti won se ni yi. They come with materials. Won o ko awon ohun ti e won elo. When they get to any locality, they may build school. They will build hospital. So through this medium, they were able to reach out to the local people that have never known Christ. But because, but because they have given something to them, they were ready to listen to them. They were ready to serve their God that bless them to give them what they receive. So please make sure when you are led to give, particularly to the unbelievers, give, it might be the way to bring him unto Christ. Also, give it to fellow Christians that are poor or needy. We stabilize them in faith, never to go back out of faith. Bible says, as much as it lies within our capacity, we should give to do good to everybody, but most especially those in the household of faith. When a Christian lacks one thing or the other, and nobody in the food can help him, and he goes to unbelievers to ask for it, they will ask him, can't your God supply that thing for you? Can't your brethren give you this thing? You know, it might make that person to go back. If somebody comes from non Christian family and when he left, they told him that you are coming back. And truly, when he lacks something, Nobody could help him within the food. And he has to go back to his family. They will say, we have told you, better come back. Nigba ti ye ni yon bak ba jesu. Ti o fi e biti ko ba jesu si le. Ti o dara po ma won ni bak ba ti wang ba olu wa. Ti wang ni ba to ba si an wang e pi resi sa mkwe a. Se pi o ba jesu ni o shi mak pa da wa. Ba to ba wang wang ni no ak bo kristi. Ti o shi an lai ni. Ti ko si e ni ke ni ti o le ron. Lo wang to wak pa da. Si o do a wang e pi re yi. So please let us remember to give to the needy, particularly our fellow Christians that I need. This makes our faith to be a living faith. The grace of giving. God will give to us in Jesus' name. The benefit number three. When we are giving, it's a sign of having the nature of God in us. And that nature is the nature of love. You know, God is love. Therefore, in every aspect of his life, is given out. He gives to everybody. Both believers and unbelievers. Both wicked and good people. 
to the extent of even giving out his only begotten son to come and die for us. The nature of God is love. I'd constrain him to give to us beyond even what we deserve. Therefore, when we are giving, it means we have the nature of God in us. It means that we love others as God loves them. In 1 John chapter 3, verses 17, eighteen. First John three seventeen or eighteen. But also art this was good and see it his brother half need has shorted up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him, my little children. Let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So, bar and it's over new in near ye. So, see, there are corner, it's a line. So, see, say, like when you're no re ma, but when you feel long thing, pay no re, and your mommy, and master Jackie, I feel oro. Tabia, I'm fair, because any she at the little tall. A man came from British. He told his father, I've killed an antelope. Oh, the father said, We shall see. Baba, we pay our Daddy, are preparing it. Only a Baba, Mutin say, The daddy says, We shall see. Baba, any hour. I'm, I'm serving it already. Oh, long thing, boosting our ball. The daddy said, We shall see. Baba, any hour. Now, when he now handed over the antelope onto him, cook. And he put it in his mouth. He said, I can now see. So, if you are listening to people, I love you, I love you, I love you, and you are not doing something to reflect that love, you are claiming you love them, they have not said any love in you. Ningbati Obansafa when you are more fair, it is when we are going extra mile to give to the needy, the poor around us. It is then they will see that we really have love toward them. People in the world, they say, Actions speak louder than voice. And that is why the Bible says we should not love in tongue, but in deed and in truth. But in deed and in truth. If you have never said to anybody, I love you. If when the that person lacks something, you are helping him, he will say, ah, that brother, that sister lost me. See, eh, by instance, so funny, come, 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 God will create in us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Fe yi oluwa yo da si wa ninu loruko Jesu. The fourth benefit of giving. Afani keri ninu fi funi. Whatever we give is converted to heavenly treasures that we will enjoy forever in heaven. On konte aba fi funi an yi kpa da di shura e yi te a o gbadun ni joba olorun. When you give us something, either your time, your money, any material, it will be converted to treasures. You are going to meet in heaven and enjoy forever. 
they are not spending currency or any money in heaven. We are not going to have physical food in heaven. We are not going to have physical building in heaven. But when we are giving here, what we are giving will be converted to the treasures that is applicable in heaven for our eternal enjoyment. Somebody is coming to Nigeria. He will convert his money to the Naira that we are spending in Nigeria. So when you are giving what you have, not only in monetary sense, you are converting, you are converting that thing to what you are going to spend, you are going to enjoy in heaven. Amen. First Timothy chapter 6. Timothy, Verses 17. To 19. First Timothy 6, 17 to 19. Search them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Ki lo fun awon ti o loro le aye isisin yi ki won ma se gberaga be ni ki won ma se gbeke le oro aida ni loju bi ko se le olorun alaye tin fi ohun gbogbo fun wa lopopolopo lati lo that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate ki won ki o ma sore ki won ki o ma po ni ise rere ki won mura lati pin fun ni ki won ki o ni emi ba kedun lay up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life ki won ki o ma to isura ipinle rere jo fun ara won de igba tin bo ki won ki o le di iye to to mu apart from the treasures that your giving is being converted, you are sure that your eternal life is guaranteed when you are giving. That takes us to the fifth benefit of giving. Giving opens the door of heaven for us. Giving to the needy, to the poor, whatever that they lack, opens door for us to enter into heaven. And Matthew 25, verses 34 to 40. Matthew 25, 34 to 40. Then said the king say, unto them on his right hand, come, he blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. Not only people that are rich naked I clothed me I was sick I visited me I was in prison I came unto me mo wa ni oho eyin si da so bo mi mo si aisan eyin si boju to mi mo wa ninu tubu eyin si to mi wa then shall the righteous as I am saying lord when saw we thee and hungered I fed thee or tasted, 
I gave thee drink. Nigba na ni awolo to yo da lo wi pe oluwa. Nigba wo ni awari ti ebi npa o ti awa fun oli o nje tabi ti o gbe ngbe o ti awa fun oli o mimo. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in on naked and clothed thee. Nigba wo ni awari oli alejo ti agba o sile tabi ti wo wa ni owo ti awa da so bo. Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee tabi nigba wo ni awari ti wo si aisan ti abojutu o tabi ti wo wa ninu tubu ti awa si to wa fast 40 ese ogoji and the kings answer and say unto them verily i say unto you in as much as he have done it unto one of the of the least of this my brethren he have done it unto me oba si down Yo si wi fun won pe lo to ni mo wi fun yin ni won bi eyin ti se fun okan ninu awon arakunrin mi won yi ti o kere julo eyin ti se fun mi you can now see the words of Jesus Christ e le wa ri oro Jesu bayi when you are doing something either water to the thirsty food to the hungered you visit those who are sick those who are naked you clothe them it's not there you are doing it for but you are doing it unto Christ. Eh wa ri nigbati a ba fun eni ti ebi pa ni o nje eni ti o ngbe ngbe ti a fun ni omi eni to wa ni iwo ti a da so bo eni to ni lo ibewo ti a be wo eni ti a se fun kola an se fun sugba an se fun Christi. And this we open the door of heaven for them. Eh yi ni yo si wa si ilekun orun fun awon ti o se be. If you read further from 41 you can see those who refused to do these things were sent to hell. Can you see how the rich man missed the good opportunity? God sent Lazarus to his doorpost to take care of him, heal him, take him to the hospital, pay the hospital be. Bring him to his house, feed him. That could have made him to enter into paradise. Olorun ran Lazaru. Olorun ran Lazaru si Oloro ni ni. Lati toju Lazaru. Lati gbe lo si lewo san. Lati toju re ko fun ni onje sugbon o pada nu awon afani ye. But when he did get to Lazarus, one day he left all the wealth, all the food, all the water, all his money. He couldn't make heaven. Sugbon nigba to ko Lazaru ti o se ohun to ye ko se fun gege bi alai ni leyin o gbogbo oku o fi gbogbo oro ati gbogbo yin ni ati oro ati owo o fi ile Lazarus that he didn't want to see here because his uh, his uh, so his boy food was smelling to him he is now seen in a very fine fine complexion he begged Abraham that Lazarus who dip his finger to water. I come and drop just a drop of water in his mouth. Lazarus ti o ti o fe ri ninu aye yi. Lazarus to run si. Lazarus ti o fe ko duro si ibi sinu ile ohun. Sugbon nigba to wa dorun. O wa ri Lazarus ti o ti gbe ogo orun wo. O wa nbe Abraham pe ki Lazarus ko fowo sinu omi. Ko wa to si ohun ni ahan. So when you open your hand to the need of other people you are already opening the door of heaven for yourself. My advice to all of us tonight, if you have, give to people when they need it. When you lag, and nobody gives you, don't because of that go back to the world. Lazarus was hated. His so people could not help him. The rich man could not help him. Nobody helped him. He died with that wound and boil. In his body. 
His body was full of sore. He died with it. He did it because nobody helped him backslide and go back to the wall. When he died, he said bye bye to the wall. The wound, the, the sore, is only on the body, not in the soul and spirit. The same day problem. Once you leave this world, the problem is over, the sore is over, anything that is negative in your life is over. Don't because of people never help you. Maybe you are doing certain ceremony, you are, you are expecting people to come and mass. They never come. Don't because of that leave the church of God. If it's only you bury your parent or name your child and be happy. Remain a Christian. So either they help you or not, remain a Christian. Are you that have help so that you not be condemned on the last day? Are you that have help so that you not be condemned on the last day? Rise up and close your eyes. Talk to God. Give me the grace of giving. The grace of giving. So that I be able to help the needy. And the poor around me. Give me the grace and spirit of giving. So that I will lay my treasures in heaven. And the door of heaven will open for me at the end. Pray unto God. Pray unto God. Awan bebe olorun wa ko fun wa ni aya igbase emi ni pa oro ti a gbo loni ti a fi le fi si wa wu ti a fi se ise wa to be ti yo dapo je wa ogo re ga ni na ye wa oluwa wa ran wa lowo a bere lowo wa pe ti a ba fena ara wa ni to to a o tele ofin ati ilana wo olorun ninu fifi ife han fun gbogbo eniyan Bi wo lorun wa ti se ore ofe lati yi oluwa wa fe fun wa a fun fun ni ti ran elomiran lowo ti dide fun elomiran ti wa igbala elomiran ti fi ohin ni re bowo fun iwo lorun ati gogo eniyan lati fi toju awon online to be ti bukun wa yo fi po jaburata oluwa wa ran si wa emi ti fi fun ni ti a fi le ni wa si ile ku orun sile fun wa ti a ko fi ni ka ba mo ni ikeyin loruko jesus oluwa wa ran se wa a gba ti ori ofe ti a o fi da sobu awon to wa ni ihoho ti a o fi fun o je fun awon ti ebi pa ti a o mi fun awon ti o gbe ngbe ti a wa sun irere fun awon otose loruko jesus oluwa wa amen a gba ra keji mara lati le fi apare rere han fun won ni ti a fi da Amen. 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 In Jesus.